Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com and iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm going to cover a few tips you can implement on your iPad running iOS 7 to improve its battery life. I've seen a lot of comments and complaints about the iOS, the latest iOS 7 release being not battery friendly and having issues and running out of batteries and battery life faster than anticipated. And so it's not Apple's fault in most cases. Sometimes there are bugs and we have seen Apple patch them in the past. We're talking about default settings that sometimes you have to tweak and play around with to get the best results. So we're talking about, in my view, the way I approach it is, if anything that moves is probably consuming battery life, so you want to turn it off. Now, that sounds a silly statement, but it's actually very accurate if you think about it. Your GPS, your Wi-Fi, your moving background, also brightness, screen brightness. And those are basic tips that everyone knows. But your Wi-Fi, your location services, these things that are running the background, that are moving, as I mentioned, you have to turn them off if you want to get the most out of your battery life. And so turning off your Bluetooth... Wi-Fi, very, very easy, obviously. You can also do it from settings. You turn them off right here, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Should you turn it off? It really depends. Sometimes you're just reading a book and there's no need to have Wi-Fi on. The same applies to gaming or whatever you're doing that doesn't require the internet. Why keep it on, especially if you're traveling and do not have access to a power outlet to charge your device. So something to think about. I personally don't go anywhere without my solar panel, so it doesn't really matter to me. I always have a way to charge my iPad unless the sun somehow explodes or doesn't come up or I go to England that don't get any sunshine. Um, no offense to my British friends. They, it's a beautiful city. It's just that you know it rains all the time. So you have these that you need to turn off. Also, you want to go to your privacy section manage your location services. I usually turn it off for everything, but you can turn it on depending on the apps that you use. And on this device, I really don't need to have it turned on because it's just a test device. So you want to be aware of that. You want to go to general accessibility. You want to turn off the moving screen that Apple introduced in iOS 7. So you go and turn off that option next to reduce motion. So and you leave it off. App refresh, again, if you go to your general background app refresh, turn it off if you can. And if you read the lines, the information that Apple tells you, I mean, it's a no-brainer no that if an application is running in the background, if it's using GPS, if it's using location services, it's using battery. It's not... We're not talking about free energy here. It's just some they have to use something to run in the background. So maybe you know the battery life that you lose, it's not that that much or it's negligible. But that's something to think about if you want to maximize your battery life. So you want to turn that off and or control it the way you want. You also want to manage your email settings. Let's say you don't want to get the how you get your new de new emails I personally said to manual I don't want to get emails or notifications for every 15 minutes it's not necessary I don't answer emails every 15 minutes I mean you're not going to be productive anyway if you're just constantly looking for new emails and just waiting like the, if your whole day is about just getting new emails and waiting to answer them right away it, I mean that's not the most productive way to use it so why keep it on and you want to change the settings here as well. For brightness, again, sound, brightness, things like that. You don't want to use a dynamic wallpaper, obviously. So do not go with the dynamic wallpaper. It looks good, not good for your battery life. Brightness, probably can move it a little bit back there. So these are simple steps you can take to improve battery life, especially if you're having issues with iOS 7. What I would say is if something is running in the background and you don't want to turn it off, 
Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, location services, app refresh, doesn't matter. Turn it off because you don't need it. It's just, and even the cool, fancy stuff, like the moving background or dynamic wallpaper or things like that. If you don't need it, just why turn it on anyway or keep it on anyway. So if you have any suggestions, tips, please leave it in the comment section. I This is just a summary of what I think and what I do to improve battery life on my iPad. If you have better ideas, if you think I'm wrong, I'd like to hear it. Also, go to our site, iPhoneS.com, for more coverage. Thanks again for watching, guys.